on, hat off, hat on. Hat on day, all right, here we go. All right, we're back in the shop, weekend homestead, doing a little modification to the generator and got a new inverter. Only reason why I got a different inverter is the inverter that I put in the system originally was designed for cars, so it doesn't have a ground. This has a little grounding lug on the side of it so I can ground it and then that will fix my issue with my outlet. So the one problem I had before was I was using an automobile um, inverter instead of a shore-based or land-based inverter. So we're gonna get this thing hooked up and uh, get it replaced in the system and we should be off to running. I am completely amazed. Every morning I come out here, the light is blinking on the uh, charge controller saying that battery is completely full and then I'm running a fan. I ran the battery jumper earlier. I've got a radio going and all that stuff and everything's working. So this system, awesome. This inverter was $66 out on Amazon. You can buy really expensive ones, but this one here, all the ratings state that it'll do exactly what we need. Couple other items that I got, a safety switch. Just turn it, depending on which way you turn it, will uh, either turn the power on or turn the power off. I wanted something because I didn't have anything in the system to turn it on or turn it off. So I'm gonna mount this so when you walk in, you can just turn this little switch and it goes to on and then the system is on and running. You can run the light switches when you're done. Master kill switch and it kills it. One other item is this battery box. So a lot of people were talking about, hey, you know, instead of mounting the battery inside of a wood box, why don't you just get a marine box and put it in there? And then somebody else suggested um, this little battery meter. So I'm gonna mount this to this box and then you just press this button and it'll tell me what the charge of the battery is. Um, it's actually a really simple system. I'll grab my screws here. So that's it. So we're gonna mount these screws in right now. And then we'll start wiring the rest of the system up. All right, now that's mounted on there. We'll start getting the rest of these pieces put together and everything should be good. I was thinking about mounting this on here, but I actually think I'm gonna mount it just right on the wall and be able to turn it on and off. This is right out there. Push them all in the orchard. All right, so these I like to twist. And then just fold them over. Oop. I always get these little stragglers. Give it a good twist. And fold it over. Slide it in. Give it a crimp. All right, so now we've got our connectors to the battery. We've got our uh, extra leads. Let's add them to these bad boys. That one's there. So now we got our two leads. They're in there tight. These are tight, so we got our battery connectors, a little extension so we can work pretty readily, readily easily with it, and a cool little battery sensor. You just press the button and it'll tell you how much battery there is. This box, by the way, was such a good idea. I'm glad you guys emailed it to me because I was gonna build one out of wood. This one was $8 on Amazon. So, and a little battery uh, meter was four dollars so twelve dollars I got a battery box that tells me how much the voltage is and I don't have to worry about building one or anything like that saved me a bunch of time so thank you now I don't know if you saw my one video where I unboxed a product called the beat it but uh, today we're gonna unbox this bad boy new power inverter are you happy are you not happy? That is the best manual I've ever seen ever. Go to this email or website if you have questions. Here's our contact information. We want you to be happy, not not happy. It's pretty funny. It's pretty cool. We got ourselves some positive and negative wire with already got the terminals on there. So that'll make that install part easy. And this is the unit. So I had asked a bunch of people about uh, why I wasn't getting the ground and they said, car inverters ground themselves based on the chassis of a vehicle because you're basically a self-contained unit and that's what that inverter was. This inverter is meant for powering things at your home so they add in, you know, your regular, regular let me open it here, a 12 volt inverter 
works on a car system and grounds itself to the chassis of the vehicle so there's no way to ground it because it basically grounds itself. That's why when I was plugging into the outlet, I was not getting a ground. Versus this inverter, which is made more for at home, so you still have your regular uh, outlets like you'd have at home, plus this one's got a little USB outlet, which is pretty cool, I can charge stuff off of it. But more importantly, let's look on this side, you've got your positive and your negative like you normally would, but you got this little guy right here, which is a grounding lug. So we pounded a rod down into the ground outside and ran it in as a grounding loop. And now we're gonna hook our positive, our negative, and our grounding loop up, and we should be in business. Then we take these guys, hook them up to the battery. I do have some additional safety stuff like I talked about. I've got a master kill switch. And I also have this guy, which is an inline fuse. So just a little bit of safety stuff. I figured if we're gonna go through and we're gonna mess with this and get this kind of put back together and put some new equipment into the, the system, Let's go ahead and take one step further and put some safety stuff in. through this comes from the battery goes through the fuse comes up into the switch comes out of the switch and this piece will connect onto the inverter I'm gonna mount this over there and then I'll show you guys what we're doing since it's such a tight space just to walk you through kind of the rest of this up on the roof we put the solar panels up on some green treated boards get them up an uh, inch or two off of the roof so any water debris or anything kind of goes right underneath it I got all the wires taken care of up there you have them coming out of the bottom of the panel and then have a little bit of a drip loop before it comes into the building. So then I got our wires nailed down, follow along behind the door here, coming down this way. It comes across, loops down, and then goes right into our charge controller, which is right here. Then out of our charge controller, the wires come down and go into our battery box, which is right here. On top of our battery box, I installed this little guy, which is basically a little battery meter. Right now we're at 100%. So then the wires come up, go onto this red switch right here, which is the master switch. We come back here to the inverter. Coming out of the inverter, this green taped wire comes around and then goes down and sneaks right out the side of the building to that grounding lug, which is pounded eight feet into the ground. Now coming out of that system, I have a very very simple plug which plugs right inside the inverter and then comes out, comes into this small box which I have covered right now but it's a, basically a junction box which then turns that cord type wire into a regular wire and I've got 12 gauge wire coming up over the top, coming down and coming into this switch. This switch is kind of the junction box right now for the lighting system. Coming out of here, comes down, 12 gauge wire goes around, connects into our outlet right there. And then these switches run up and go off into the barn. One of them runs this two set right here up by the workbench. The other runs all the rest of the lights out in the barn. Look at Mrs. Mrs. is bright red. Eh. Look at her face. Did you put sunscreen on? Mm -hmm. this, I've had my hat on. This is, I'm overheating. That's the uh, red indicator light of overheating. Mm -hmm. How you doing, buddy? If you guys have any questions on the system we put together, feel free to send me an email. Holy cow, is it bright out here. But we're making electricity. That is so cool. It's just the coolest thing. I, I can't say it enough. That, that, that is just so cool. Real simple solar panel system, it solved our needs. We'll eventually expand on it, which is the cool thing we can expand. Switching out from the uh, car inverter to the uh, home base inverter was a great suggestion. The other one was the battery box, so thank you for that. Uh, picked up all this stuff out on Amazon. You know, I think all said and done, I've got, uh, well, I had 630 into it, but then if you take out the inverter and add in the other one, we're at about $650 and we solved our issues, so. 
If you have any questions, like, I said, like always, leave them down in the comments. If you're your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, you know, let us know what you think. Let us know what you guys are doing this weekend. This is what we were doing. So until the next time, this is the Weekend Homestead, living the simple life, one weekend at a time. Catch you guys in the next video.